Well, I think the, the distinguishing feature about Skoltech is that it's really centered around innovation. That innovation is totally integrated into the research process at Skoltech and into the education process at Skoltech. Our students are introduced to innovation, they take courses, there are workshops, they do projects, they go to industry, they participate in startup companies, and then they're placed in these types of settings. And in research, our research is motivated by the needs of industry, we involve industry in the research, and we very carefully manage the knowledge transfer from Skoltech out into industry. You know, it takes a special desire and commitment to be an entrepreneur. Uh, as I said in the lecture, <clears throat> it's almost a lifestyle. You have to want to start things. You have to be willing to commit to them very deeply. You have to be willing to take risks, which many people understandably are not interested in doing. They, you have to be able to take financial risks or, uh, or commitment risks, not necessarily personal danger. You have to know a technology very thoroughly. You have to be interested in starting things. So it's a special group of people who are successful entrepreneurs. Um, and it, it, that's OK, because if entrepreneurs begin to make companies, these companies need to hire many other people. So they create jobs, they create technology, they create national wealth. Yes. Yes, I think it can, and I think it's an important part of our project at Skoltech, is that in order to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to have some knowledge, you have to have some skills, but you have to have the attitude. You have to be confident that you're actually able to do things by yourself or with a small team. Mm -hmm. And we've designed the education at Skoltech so that over and over, our students su succeed in doing new things, so that when they leave Skoltech, they're ready to take on these new challenges. I think it's, um, it's two things. One is a standard thing, which is you have to educate students very well. By this I mean they need to actually learn. They have to sit here in the class and absorb material, not just the professor teaching. So I think that, that one aspect of designing for impact is that you really have to structure the education with experiences and projects and active learning uh, like I did in the lecture tonight. You know, at one point I stopped and I tried to engage everyone in the room. The other thing is that you have to teach the students that the knowledge they gain can be applied successfully. That, that knowledge is not an abstract set of information, a set of facts. It actually enables you to do something new. So that at Skoltech, every term, and a term is eight weeks long, Every term we stop after six weeks learning new material. And we spend the last two weeks learning how to use that material, using how to learn, use that knowledge. It's called the applications period, or the short apps. So it's, it's both getting the students to learn well and teaching them that they can use this new knowledge. There's a power in this new knowledge. Oh, absolutely. I think, in fact, the Russian education system is historically, by historically I mean over the last hundred years, uh, very committed to engaging students in, <clears throat> in both very fundamental theoretical knowledge, but also in the application of that knowledge. And I think that, you know, the evolution of the Russian higher education system in the last 20 years has sort of lost some of that connection. So programs like CDIO and Skoltech are ways of rebuilding the connection between technical higher education in Russia uh, and, and learning and working with industry.